Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an Elder Scrolls Online video. Today, we are finally going to do Bastion's third and, I believe, final quest in his story. And yes, I'm doing it with a different character because I literally just got his quest this morning when I was doing some Mages Guild Daily with him. And I didn't want to wait to do it on Elos. I wanted to get this done and ready because I've got a lot to do with Miri on both characters as I've been sadly neglecting her um, this past few this past week because I think yeah I think I got her quest and recorded it a week ago okay I'm getting off track yes we're doing Bastion's quest and let's let's get this started I've been thinking about my sister Clarine why would Lord Silvel tell me she was dead all those years ago? Why didn't I end up with her after my mother's death? I think it's time to get some answers. I'm missing some part of the story. Are we gonna go see your sister? What do you want to do? Go see her? I bet. Now that I know Clarine is yeah. alive, I want to meet her. I don't hold any high expectations, but I need some answers. I want to begin by calling on her husband, Count Ozen. Oh. He's a well-known noble who often visits Wayrest on the realm's business. Why go through him? Clarine has had decades to reach out to me. Either she doesn't know I'm alive, or she wants nothing to do with me. Either way, my return may be unwelcome. I should approach the matter with care. Would you come to Wayrest with me? How old is he? Like, decades. I don't even know if we know his exact age. But yeah, okay, yeah. I'll go to Ray Rest, Ray Rest, Way Rest and help you find some answers. If Count Ozen's in Way Rest, we'll probably find him at the Cloudy Dregs Inn. Visiting nobles often stay there. I hope he can tell me something. After what I've learned about my mother's last wishes, I don't know what to think. Do you have any memories of your sister? I don't. I know she's about 18 years older than I am. Oh, wow. I was a late in life child. According to my mother's servant, Analiath, Clarine went off to marry Elmond Ozen soon after I was born, just before the fall of House Halix. Oh, so well, well, if it's been decades, well, well, if he, let's say he's in like his 30s, wouldn't that mean like she's like 40 something? Huh. I guess we'll see. I want to say Bastion's in his 20s. I don't, I don't know how old Bastion's. I don't want to assume. Maybe I, I just, oh, I need to stop. <laughs> Wouldn't your sister have tried to find you after your mother died? That's the question, isn't it? Why did she send me to the Silvels? Was her own situation too precarious? Did she not want the care of a child? Or perhaps she's dead. It's possible Inaliath is mistaken, and Lord Silvel told me the truth. Well, I hope you find I hope we find some answers together. If Count Ozen's in Wayrest, oh, I should vest we'll probably about find him Count at the Inn. Visiting nobles often stay there. I hope he can tell me something. After what I've learned about my mother's last wishes, I don't know what to think. I wouldn't know what to think either, Bastion. Yes, we're in the middle of the New Life Festival. Let's go to Wayrest and... Wait, I keep saying Way West. Way West, like a little baby. Way West, I'm in the wrong area. And Stormhaven. All right. Uh, uh oh, my brain's not working. There we go. What? I hope his sister's alive. It'd be very sad if she wasn't. But they have kids. Who be Uncle Uncle Bastian? I think I said that last last video last video with Bastian is he's an uncle. Yay! There's something <laughs> wonderful about wandering a city streets with no destination. Whee! Alright. Uh let's go. You want to make some gold, Walker? No. Wait, we I love how we keep going to the same inn to meet people. You there. Do you bring news? Are you here to deliver a demand? Oh. He looks upset. 
Maybe you should sound him out. Who dat? Is that? Oh, that's a player. Okay. She's. This isn't a very good time, stranger. Be on your way, unless you bring some new tidings about my wife. Oh, tidings about your wife? What's going on? She's been captured by slavers. Oh. Clarine was on her way to visit a friend near Coglin when she was attacked. Luckily, one of her guards managed to trail the slavers to Coglin Mine. I must arrange a, a, a rescue at once. State your business swiftly. I'm here upon the behalf of Bastian Halix. He's looking for his sister, your wife. Bastian Halix? What? That's him over there, isn't it? Oh, he looks just like his father. I don't know how to say this, but Clarine believes he died. Oh. After her family's scandal, I thought it best to distance her from the Halix name. You told her Bastion was dead? I I'm afraid so. And I told the Silvels to let Bastion believe he had no family left. It was the safest course. Oh my god. Is punishing me now for that choice? Oh, is it my fault? Oh, that dude, Clarine why? Wait, you and Halix seem able. You can save her. How would you keeping Bastion away from his sister be any safer? You gotta answer that question for me, dude. After Lord Halix's treason, some of the king's counselors argued for what was his treason? The whole I don't remember sure if they no said anything. The, king remained. the only way to survive was to convince the king's officials that the Halix family no longer existed. Surely the king's officials knew Clarine was Lord Halix's daughter. Oh yes, of course they did. I had to convince them that my new wife was appalled by what her father had done and repudiated the Halix name. Not only was Clarine at risk, my own house might have fallen under suspicion of treason too. Were you protecting yourself or Clarine? I don't care for your insinuation. I love Clarine and I feared for her life. Mm. But yes, I had my own title and family to think of. I was new to my title and it would have oh. been irresponsible to not consider House Ozin's safety too. Was Lord Silvell in on your scheme? He had no great liking for it. He was a staunch loyalist and took Lord Halix's plot against the High King as a personal offense. It took a rather exceptional inducement to persuade him to take in young Bastion. What matter of inducement? I... Well, ah, I yeah. bribed him. Lady Halix had set aside a very substantial fortune. That's what happened to his dowry oh. for Bastion's education and upbringing. I suggested to Lord Silvell that he might be a wise steward of that fortune. That's what happened to his fortune. Oh, dude, you messed up. Telling Clarine that her brother was dead. Oh, I don't think she's gonna be happy when she finds out. What do you think, Bastian? You, oh. You let your own wife <gasps> believe that her brother was dead? I made the decision many years ago when I was young and new to my title and newly married to a woman I only wanted to protect. You left a young child with strangers. They brought me up as a, as a glorified oh, you, you tell him, Bastian. They were to use the funds you had to see to your education and raise you as a gentleman. It should have been her decision, not yours. I'm going to find my sister for her sake, not yours. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, game. Let me talk to him. Um, excuse me. Let me talk to my companion. There we go. Ozen told Clarine I was dead. And he conspired with Lord Silvell to keep me in ignorance, too? What kind of life would I have had if these cowards had just told my sister and I the truth? Maybe they would have taken- your sister would have raised you. Oh, he looks so sad with his little pouty face. The Count says he did it to protect his wife and to protect you. I- I suppose I can understand that. If the choice was telling a lie or risking the gallows for my sister, then Ozen made the right decision. It isn't cowardice to fear for someone you love. And it's clear that he fears for Clarine now. Count Ozen said the slavers are in Co Coglin Mine. 
I know the place. Bandits and outlaws often layer there. I'll sort out the rest of this later, after we make sure Clarine is safe. I couldn't bear it if I got so close to finding her, only to lose her now. To Coglin mine then. Lord Silvell told me more than once that I should be grateful that he didn't just drop me off at some orphanage or another. But this whole business of buried secrets and deliberate lies is infuriating. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the reasons for it. Do you believe Count Ozen's story? It makes sense that the Count wanted to protect my sister. I could almost forgive that. Yeah. But I suspect he was also interested in protecting his own good name. I can't help but wonder about the life I could have had if he'd chosen differently. Did the Savelles ever mistreat you? No. I was much better off than if I'd been left at an orphanage. But I wasn't family, and I wasn't quite the help. If I hadn't met you, I would have spent the rest of my life looking after the Silvell's interests without ever really belonging. Oh, you're welcome. You're my best friend now. You really are. You're my best friend. Especially with this character. You heal, I tank. That's the best friend there. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the mine. I'm pretty sure that's um, a delve. Wait. Hold on, where's the... Oh, it's not. Okay, well, I will see you guys when I get to the hideout. I'm gonna get this now. <laughs> get the wolf! There are a whole lot of wolves. The right place. I'm not the praying sort, but I'm praying my sister is unharmed. Slavers are no joke. Oh, I know that. Slavers are never a joke in anything. Especially in the Fallout universe. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Um, why does it... Oh, okay, that's weird. There must be another exit or something. Okay. Countess Clarine Alzin. Let's go find her. That's not big of a delve. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do we have to go the other way? Yeah, I do. Boo. Okay. Makes sense. Ooh. Heavy sack. Let's get it. Find anything? Uh, more roof deck. Which is exactly what I need because I keep using it all for... Uh... Well, I used all of it to make armor for a different build on this character. Set it ablaze. No! I will not die by fire today. Anything useful? Unhand me. Oh. Well, that's another player. With Miri. I'm just gonna keep walking. Uh keep walking. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's just a, <laughs> that's just a snake. It ain't gonna hurt me. And eh, nope. Clarine, are you over here? Like yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are getting close. Also, we're close to a sky shard over here. Nice. Oh, there she is. You won't get away with kidnapping a countess. If you had any brains, you'd flee now! I'm not... going to hurt you. Did my husband send... Oh, never mind. Let's get out of here! Oh, I should have spoken to her. Hold on, can I talk to her now? I thank you, stranger. Those yeah, slavers intended to demand a ruinous ransom for my return. Whether they meant to honor their word is another question entirely. Let's be... Okay, yeah, she's probably like in her 30s. And her 30s or 40s. 40s, probably in her like 40s, near 50s. Yeah, Bastion, you're older than me. Makes sense, though. So. He, he does keep saying decades, and I'm starting to ramble on. Let's get this Sky Shard and go back to Wayrest. Or outside of the mines, not go back to Wayrest. Blech. <laughs> You're welcome. There's the door. Okay. I guess you can run ahead of me now. It's not like there's a ton of wolves out there. Just waiting to 
Mollus to death. Or whatever. <laughs> Do you not I recognize that I'm free? Your brother? How can I thank my gallant rescuers? Um, you mean your gallant well yeah, rescuers slash uh, your brother and his best friend. Stop walking! I am Countess Clarine Ozen. I had hoped I that my husband's are. troops would rescue me from that awful mine, but I don't recognize you. No matter. You have my deepest gratitude, strangers. How did you know where to find me? Count Ozen told us of the danger you were in. Did he? Oh, I prayed that one of the guards had managed to get through to him. Elmond must have... That is... I'm sorry, but your companion, <gasps> who is he? Oh. He looks just like someone I knew a long time ago. You recognize him. My companion is Bastian Halix, your little brother. What? How is this... Bastion? My baby brother? I thought he was dead! By the eight, of course he looks familiar. He takes after our father. Oh, excuse me, please. I am quite overcome. He'd been told that you were dead, too. Look at him. He was so small when I left our home. Our parents were so excited to have another child so late in their marriage. Where has he been all this time? How did he come to find me now? How about I just let the two of you speak? Bastion? The last time I saw you, you were only a toddler. I did not even know that you were alive. I only just learned that you were alive. I wish... I wish I'd known sooner. You look so much like our father. But you probably have no memories of him, do you? Sadly, I do not. Nor you, Clarine. I would... I would like to find out what I've missed. I as well. Oh, I have so many questions for you. Did you know you have a niece and nephew to meet? I would like that. And Aww. I have many questions for you, too. But first, let me speak to my friend here. Wait, please tell me this isn't the end. And please tell me this isn't actually the last quest. Please tell me it's like, it says three quests, but there's actually more. Clarine is a stranger to me, of course. But part of me feels like I know her somehow. Well, she, she is your sister. My... Our? Father. I've always wondered about that. She appears to be pleased to find you as you are to find her. Indeed. I love how happy he is. I confess, it's awesome. I was a little worried that she might not have much to say to me. After all, she's a countess, and we are strangers. Clarine seems kind, though. I like her already. That feels rather good. She certainly seems willing to treat you as family. Which is something the Silvels could never do. She has a good heart, I believe. It's strange. I left the Silvels because I wanted to find my own place in the world. Discovering a family I thought I lost? It roots you properly, so to speak. Do you want to stay away rest with her? Not yet. <gasps> right now, I still want travel and adventure. <gasps> Being part of my sister's family is something that will happen with time. Thank you for seeing this through. I think I'd rather face a dozen dragons than the ghosts of the past. Well, we have faced over a dozen dragons over the summer. Liv is so happy! <laughs> Liv, he's so happy too! And I got him as a house guest now, finally! <gasps> Diligent and steadfast heroes like Bastian Halleck still need time to unwind. His, his chivalrous, chivalrous, chivalrous charm is sure to brighten up any room. After adding Bastion to your home, you can set him on a path. Plus, you and your visitors can speak with him. Oh my god, I gotta test that out. <gasps> oh my god. Is that it? That's done? Is that the last quest? Oh, Clarine, oh. are you alright? Clarine, I've been worried sick. Thank the eight that you are alright. All is well, Elmond. The heroes you sent <gasps> succeeded. And cool. I have something extraordinary to tell you. I know, my dear, I know. An old wrong can be set right today. I, I feared for your life. I know I should have told you about Bastion, but, but I will earn your forgiveness and his, I promise you. Oh, can I talk to him? I can. I cannot thank you enough for rescuing Clarine. I know I made a dreadful mistake in the past. I promise to make it up to both Clarine and her brother. 
Bastille seems like a, a good man. I... I will be proud to call him brother too. Oh, that's awesome. What does Clarine think? A day that started in darkness and fear has brought me a miracle beyond imagining. The loss of my family all those years ago almost broke me. To find out now that I am not the only Halix left. I hardly know what to think. How is this possible? What will you do now, Countess? Sit down with Bastion and talk for days. I want to know everything about how he was raised and what family he found. Where has he been all this time? And I need to speak with my husband. Why did he tell me Bastion died? A mistake? Or not? Bastion was fostered by the Savelle family. He worked for them. The Savelles of Daggerfall? Bastion stayed with them after Mother died. But he was to be sent to us just as soon as the King's officers satisfied themselves that I had no part in my father's conspiracy. I hope they were kind to him. And your husband only meant to protect you when he told you that Bastion was dead. I guessed as much. I remember the court officials who interrogated me after my father's treason. My life hung by a thread in those awful months. But it was wrong for Elmon to mislead me so. It was my family and my decision to make. Will you ever forgive your husband? Am I upset? Yes, of course. But I understand why Elmon chose as he did. He's a good man. I... I only wish he told me sooner that my brother lived. Yeah, I get that. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> my sister and I haven't seen each other in 25 years. Oh, jeez. She remembers me as a two-year-old child, and... He's 27. I don't remember her at all. What if we have nothing in common besides a name? Oh, wow, he's, he's 27. <laughs> Bastion Halix is 27 years old. It has been proven right here, right now. <laughs> don't worry, bud. You'll figure it out. For the first time since we started down this road, I think I believe that, too. But we have so much lost time to make up for. And the thought that I missed the chance to be a part of this family decades ago is almost too much to bear. Can you forgive Count Ozen for that? For all I know... Elmond Ozen saved my sister's life by lying to her. And it's obvious that he loves her with all his heart. They are happy together. For my sister's sake, I can set aside old sorrows. But I am done with the Silvels. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> we got it. We did it. We got past the end. Hold on, let me look at the uh, achievements. Is that really all? Like... We done? Done? You know, I... If it is done done with Bastion stuff, like... I'm kind of sad at how short these quests are for the companions. Um... It's... Hold on, my dog wants in! Ah! Cleo, I'm almost done with the video! You couldn't have waited? Oh my god. What was I saying? Oh. How, how short these these quests are. Like, I would love if they had more or if they were longer. I would love to go more in depth on these characters' relationships. I would have loved to, like, take Bastion and, like, go to Wayrest and go to the Count and Countess's home and see his, see his nieces and nephews, see him interacting with them. That would have, that would have been awesome, but I, I guess not. I guess it's done. What, what's your rapport? begin. My sister and I have been listening. What's on your mind? Oh no, not that one. Hold on. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, we're close. He greatly admires me. I guess I just have to keep working on his rapport, but I, I'm done with all of his quests. And I just gotta keep working on him, I guess. Yeah. Um Alright then everyone. <laughs> uh that's that's that that's it that's that's Bastion's story um again it's kind of sad how short these quests were but it was really in I think out of the two companions Bastion's so far has been the most interesting like I like Miri's story but 
I don't I don't know how to say it. I know Beer- Miri's a favorite companion, but Bast one of them I think Miri's the most popular one, but Bastian he's my favorite. He he's he's best. He's awesome. Um but yeah. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um Oh my god, my brain just in- Thank you thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you next time. Oh, and also, happy, happy new year. That's what I should say. I will see you guys next year. Goodbye.